First thing I gotta do is go down into the bottom, grab some wood that I already have stacked up to complete this rick. Both of them are dry. And then we're gonna get it in the back of the Tacoma, which I have a short bed, so we'll see how that goes. Let's do it. Here's some of the wood I'm gonna be loading up. No bark on this stuff. Good hearts that have been drying out for a few months. Then I'm gonna put with all the super season stuff. Should load up nice. A little bit extra stuff along with the other stuff I'm gonna throw in. Let's get up there and load up the rick now. Oh, this weather's horrible. All right. Let's see where we're at on this pile here. Obviously this face cord or rick was a little bit light and not quite full, so I decided to throw in a couple extra pieces, and I did this at the end of the video as well. Alright, I threw a couple more pieces on just to show, like, I don't know, just kind of square it up. Just for any naysayers to say this might not be a whole rick or a face cord. Because I still got a little bit extra in there, so that'll totally square it up. Alright, let's get to loading and stacking. Alright, first row in. It's honestly fitting a little bit better than I thought. I'm just gonna have to put in something right here. I'll probably grab a piece of foam or a blanket or something to throw in so I don't bust my back glass out on my daily. So much more we got. This rain is killer. If this was an old farm truck Tacoma, uh, I would definitely be throwing all these pieces in the back. But since I'm getting closer to the end of the rick and the bed's getting fuller, I didn't want to risk a piece bouncing out and busting out my black glass or busting a taillight. So even though this is a little bit slower, it's definitely worth not having to pay for fixing something on my truck. Here's how we're looking. Only a couple pieces left. I'm gonna grab those. I'm gonna bring my mall up here to split that one for him. That one, I'll split it again. Load it up. Let's go. Uh, definitely up over the side of the bed. She's squatting a little bit. Got tons of cars going by. I think I'm insane. All right, I'm gonna throw a strap, I think, across here so nothing goes into my window. And if I can, I honestly don't know if I can, I don't know. I'll probably just throw one strap on it up here so it doesn't hit my window and that'll be good. But I got a carport, so I'm gonna pull in and do that out of the rain. All right, we gotta load it up. Finished product. Yes. All right, guys. Never underestimate the power of Tacoma. So here's what I'm up against. I'm trying to go for that right there. But I'm gonna have to move a couple pieces. And just like that, I'm gonna call that good. Got some good tension on it. So stick around tomorrow for the delivery after work.
The customer's rack was a standard rig, or a face cord if that's how you measure it by. And as you can see, this load ended up filling it up perfectly. So it's definitely not the best option to haul wood in a short bed Tacoma, but if it's all you got, you can stack a rick of wood in there all day long. If you guys enjoyed the video, give it a like, and of course, subscribe to the channel. And as always, have a good one!